Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Kevin Derman, who is the Chief Innovation Officer at CISPRO. So welcome to the jam, Kevin. Thank you, Nick. Pleased to be here. Yeah, good to have you. So uh, my first question for you is um, yeah, simple one. So could you tell me um, what CISPRO offers, what kind of company it is, um, and what kind of uh, companies do, do you deal with? Sure, sure, Nick. So CISPRO offers uh, an industry-built ERP software to the the mid-market mid manufacturers and distributors. We provide all the solutions, processes, tools, as well as the inherent core functionality that manufacturers require uh, across all of their financial manufacturing distribution and activities. So I might go into just a little bit more detail because I guess beyond our software, I believe it's our approach that really differentiates us as a business. Uh, first and foremost, we are industry specialists, right? With the customer centric approach. We understand the core needs of our customers and we design our products and solutions uh, around those needs. One of the key things in our differentiators, we, we act as, a, I would call it a trusted advisor and we provide solutions in that place uh, where we, we value the engagement or relationship with our customers as opposed to just the ERP transaction, right? So in other words, we provide value through our specialized consulting services. We also support through our trusted advisor program, our customers on the digital transformation journey, um, which allows them to be a lot more flexible and scalable, right? Um, our ERP product, uh, we can deploy on premise, we can deploy in the cloud, we can even deploy a hybrid of on-premise versus the cloud. And I think one of the key differentiators is it's the same product. So if our customers in year one, two, and three are on-premise and they decide they'd like to move to the cloud five years later, the same product, no new training, just a new deployment mechanism. And lastly, before I end with this question, uh, the CISPRO offering has always been built on the best user experience in mind. We have the capability of our customization platform. And when I speak about customization, it's not we give you the code and say, go ahead and build your own solution. We have a modern low code or no code platform that protects our customers uh, when they're moving from version to version. So I guess this differentiators allows us to develop a, a specialist solution for the mid-market manufacturers and distributors. All right. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so you've mentioned ERP or enterprise, enterprise resource planning uh, quite a few times there. So um, what is the role of ERP in Industry 4.0 uh, for the smart factory, especially in the APAC region? Yeah, so that's quite a good question. It's, it's, it's one that I have to think about, but I think maybe I can start by providing some context into, manufacture, into the manufacturing industry in APAC, right? In recent decades, the ACN manufacturers were once seen as the global phenomenon. Uh, they've been overshadowed by the rise of Chinese factories. Uh, in other words, supply chains were heavily integrated and relying on foreign material, in particular from China. So as I'm, as I'm sure you've noticed, as well as the world did, global lockdowns resulted in increased shortage of parts. And as a result, manufacturers, distributors had no choice but to find alternate solutions to stay in business and obviously to stay relevant. And then we started to see a bit of a, a shift away from China. The shift created a huge opportunity for Southeast Asian countries to grow significant market share, right? And in order to do this, they needed to adopt the right technology strategy. In fact, what we're seeing in Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, Philippines, uh, they now have the potential uh, to become central components in the global supply chain. And I think in order for them to reach that full potential and bolster manufacturing in their region, many are looking to the benefits of Industry 4.0 in their factories. Um, so. Now to answer your question, how does ERP fit into this picture? I guess a, a newly imagined supply chain will demand robust digital futures, right? Manufacturers and distributors will need clarity, transparency of information across the business to enable enhanced 
um, real time, real time information. Modern ERP systems provide visibility across the organization, uh, but I guess coupled with an MES system, or as I would call it, manufacturing execution systems, uh, along with ERP people offer full visibility across the production, the scheduling, uh, manufacturing, uh, dispatch, and, and, and of course, inventory control. An ERP application, which includes how do I put it? supply chain management capabilities creates a more efficient process and workflows that control the data requirements to manage suppliers and customers. I guess it can improve fulfillment of orders as well as inventory, warehousing, shipping. And a properly implemented SCM tool or, or software can reduce inventory without compromising service levels. Um, so I think for manufacturers in the ACM market or, or in APEC, now is a tangible opportunity right in front of them to invest, to invest in Industry 4.0, just based on just the four things that I've mentioned right now. All right, yeah. Um, and moving on to just the cloud in general, what impact has that had on manufacturing operations? I think we've seen an impact of that <laughs> just over the past 18 months. Previously, manufacturers and distributors were very slow to adopt cloud. And it was due to a number of reasons. Some due to interconnectivity requirements on their operations directly on the factory floor, or others due to regulatory requirements placed on their industry. Uh, then the pandemic strikes. So if the, if the pandemic has taught us, taught us as business leaders, one thing is that being agile and embracing digital transformation is no longer a luxury, but it, it is a necessity. During the pandemic, the manufacturers and distributors needed to adjust swiftly and thrust themselves into a, a digital, what I call a digital workspace that is no longer reliant on the workforce uh, to assemble centrally in order to connect business. So they weren't really required to be in the office bums on seats every single day, right? With the pandemic, they were cautious and hesitant to adopt these cloud systems. But all of this has been allayed as their knowledge that the cloud allows better streamlined communication and business continuity. And we've seen this particularly in areas of remote work and more, more so in alternative, alternative supply chains. Um, so what, why should uh, manufacturers accelerate digital interconnectivity to achieve a competitive edge? I hate to go back to this, but the, the pandemic disrupted supply chains globally and proved that manufacturers needed to accelerate uh, their digital transformation to remain competitive. We, CISPRO, strongly believe that, in fact, in 2020, we conducted our own research, which, re which revealed that about 67% of manufacturers and distributors were able to, to trade effectively during the pandemic due to the digital initiatives like e-commerce, uh, digital supply chains, and remote working. So the benefit of digitally transformating or using ERP solutions allows manufacturers to innovate rapidly. It gives them the ability to offer, a, I would say a shorter time to market and the capability to prevent wastage and storing of less inventory, right? And I guess all this leads to more efficient operational uh, and resilient supply chains, which, which at the end of the day will increase revenue. And that's what they want, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Um, and also in the manufacturing sector, there's a lot of still reliance on manual and paper-based systems. So yeah, what are the consequences of relying on this? Yeah, I, I think the reality is that relying on manual and paper-based system is time consuming, administrative, and impacts manufacturing operations. We all know that. In a, in a time or world where almost everything is digital, these outdated systems make it difficult to share, analyze, and collaborate effectively within the business. Because everything's paper. It's, it's sitting on this guy's desk or somebody else's desk, right? Uh, these archaic uh, 
systems or paper-based systems will impact operations, efficiencies, and will ultimately limit the organization in terms of attaining their goals, their targets, their deadlines. And what I see most importantly, real-time decision-making, because all of that information has to somehow got, get them to one person's desk for decisions to be made. So a bit of name dropping, if I may be so forward or a bit of bias from my side, an ERP application like Cispro automates business processes and helps integrate all that data to a single source of the truth into one platform for a single real-time view to enable businesses to get that critical insight in order to act quickly and proactively. Perfect. Well, um, yeah, that's all the questions I've got for you, Kevin. So um, thank you for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. Nice talking to you.